reviewing Holmes Hot Dogs in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Been serving up good food here since 1953. Well, gang, Rockabelly 864 back in the building once again. We are at Holmes Hot Dogs, Spartanburg, South Carolina on the Mill Hill. This is a little spot that's kind of tucked away, uh, frequented by, it looks like, construction workers, uh, you know, you know, road workers, uh, just locals and that type of stuff. They've been in business for over 70 years at this point. And the founder, it looks like, just passed away a couple of years ago. It's under new ownership, but supposedly the food here is still really good, and it's the best hot dog in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Rockabelly 864 is going to be the judge of that. And I say hole in the wall. Look, I'm in the parking lot, and I am sitting here eating basically parked in someone's backyard. What we got going on? One hot dog all the way. It's pretty good. The chili ain't real flavorful. The uh, wiener itself, it's that chicken pork beef mixture. I don't really like, I like all beef hot dogs, but still, this one's got a pretty good snap to it. And if the stuff on the hot dog is seasoned up right, it can kind of mask that. It's not like those gross me out or whatever, and I, and I just can't eat them at all. I mean, I, judging by the size of my big belly, I'll eat just about anything. But this is a pretty good hot dog. For 50 cents extra, all the way dog with coleslaw. That's definitely the way to go. That's definitely the way to go. Some people don't like slaw on hot dogs. And growing up, I never did either. I was like, who would put that on a hot dog? But it hits. It, it takes it to a different level. And I like that much better than just the plain all-the-way hot dog. Here's something you don't find on the menu everywhere. And I had not had one of these in years. And no, this is not a hamburger. That's a bologna sandwich with mustard, chili, and onions. Let's see, as I said, you can also give a less tomato and mayonnaise. Let's see what we got here. This is okay. You know, is this the best bologna sandwich that I've ever eaten? I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but I mean, it's it's only it's only three dollars. I mean, and for lunch, I mean, I don't think you uh, can really go wrong with something like this. I can tell they probably don't sell a lot of things that require the hamburger type bun because this is starting to flake off a little bit, like it's a little older. But the bologna, the bologna is is it's seared up proper. It's just not real flavorful. So uh, this is just okay, but. I'd still recommend it if that makes any sense to you. I, I'm not I'm not hating it. This is something I don't normally get anywhere. Chili cheese fries. The presentation on that looks pretty good. They use this same this hot dog chili for everything. Mm. It's good. It looks like I think they give you a bigger order. Of fries when I mean, you pay the extra <clears throat> was it dollar fifty get the chili cheese fries I said this is chili cheese fries to me is like 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 ballpark food like you get a baseball game it's not something I normally get I, I really don't know why I did they just had it it was up there on the little chalkboard menu like where they put some specials and stuff beside the register I was like why not see that's the power of advertisement you can get someone to try something that they wouldn't normally try these are actually pretty good i mean it's just it's just cheese sauce i mean it's nothing nothing fancy this and the slaw dog probably the best two things on the menu these these are really good 
I'm glad I picked this up. I'm glad I tried something different today. I'm giving this place an 8 out of 10. This is not the best food I've ever had, but it is absolutely not the worst. And you will not be able to go anywhere and get the amount of food that I just purchased in there for $12.50. And then I left them a $3 tip. Yeah, I know. I'm a big spender, right? But what also puts it over the top, the cleanliness inside of that restaurant those people were very, very friendly. The lady that took the order in there at the little counter couldn't have been more friendly. So if you are ever in Spartanburg, South Carolina, come check this place out. It's only open from 10 to 3, so you got a small window. I'm going to put the address down in the, well, I'm going to put it down underneath me. I'll see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace. Make sure if you're watching this on TikTok that you subscribe to the rockabelly 864 youtube channel as well that'll be in the it'll be in the description of this video somewhere click around it you can find it i'll see y'all later peace i'm out